Open and Close Kinetic Chain Open and Close Kinetic Chain exercises are two unique approaches to movement and exercise that have distinct characteristics and effects on the body. In this video, we will look at the differences between open and closed kinetic chain exercises and how these two types of exercises can be incorporated efficiently into your workout routine. When a muscle contracts, it shortens and brings its two ends closer to the center of the muscle, resembling a spring. If one end of the muscle is secured and unable to move, the point of attachment on the non-fixed bone will shift toward the stationary section. Open kinetic chain exercises involve movement patterns where the distal segment of the limb, such as the hand or the foot, is free and not fixed to a stationary object. Open kinetic chain exercises can be used to target and isolate specific muscles or muscle groups. Examples of open kinetic chain exercises include bicep curls, leg extensions, or hamstring curls. Open kinetic chain exercises offer unique benefits, especially in rehabilitation programs. These exercises can be effectively employed to target and strengthen weakened or injured muscles, while minimizing the involvement of other muscles that could compensate for the injured muscle. Closed kinetic chain exercises. Closed kinetic chain exercises involve movement patterns where the distal segment of the limb is fixed or anchored to a stationary object or surface. In closed kinetic chain exercises, several joints participate in the movement and move simultaneously, creating muscular co-contraction to stabilize the other joints along the chain. Examples of closed kinetic chain exercises include push-ups, squats, lunges, and plank exercises. There are several benefits to closed kinetic chain exercises, including functional movements. Closed kinetic chain exercises, primarily in the lower limbs, mimic real life movements and are more closely related to activities of daily living, sports, and other functional tasks. Core activation. Closed kinetic chain exercises often engage the core muscles, promoting stability and overall strength. It is important to note that both open and closed kinetic chain exercises have their place in fitness and in rehabilitation programs. The choice of exercise depends on individual goals, specific needs, and the stage of training or recovery.